Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, if you're new here, one thing you're gonna find out about me is I pretty much sell almost anything. And I like to sell weird stuff, things that maybe most people would walk by. I do replacements sometimes. Like I just sold something and I talked about it in another video. It was a remote control and it was missing the battery cover. And I'm like, I got this at the bins. I picked it up. I looked at it. I'm like, there's no back. And I'm like, I've sold this before and it sold fast. I bet somebody is looking for this. And guess what? I sold it. So you'll have to check out that video for more details. Um, this is a bread and butter video. That is where I talk about items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. What you are going to see is I pick up a lot of maybe unexpected weird items that you would walk past and I source cheap. So my margins are usually pretty good, even if it's not a huge sale, I'm still making money. And I recommend that everybody has a wide variety of items in their store. That's my personal thing. I know a lot of people just sell in certain categories and that's okay too. So let me know down in the comments, what is your business model? What works for you? And everybody can check that out and kind of see what everybody else is doing. All right, let's get started with my first bread and butter bolo. All right, so the first item I sold is definitely a weird item. I picked these up at the Goodwill bins and I had no clue what they were. I'm just like, these are interesting. They're small, cute little toy figures. Many of you will not mess with these because they're not gonna bring you huge profits. But I will tell you, I was at the bins. I had never seen them before. And sometimes the things that are weird that you've never seen before can go for big money. I've seen small figures like this go for 25 to $50 if they are rare and hard to find. Unfortunately, these little guys were not rare and hard to find. I had just never seen them. Yowie World Monster. It is uh, Boof and Crag. I used Google Lens to identify that. If you don't know what Google Lens is, you definitely need to figure it out. Um, I have a video. Type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens, and I'll show you how to use it. It's free, you guys. Every reseller should have this app on their phone. So I sold these little guys for $7.44 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage JCPenney pantyhose. I got these at the Goodwill bins. They sold for $21.70 plus shipping. Discontinued new old stock pantyhose definitely can be a bolo. There are many that I've sold in the $50, $60 range. A lot of them go for 10 or 15. It really just depends on the brand, the size, but definitely look them up if you see them. These are micro drifters. What is a micro drifter? Let me show you. They have these little balls on the bottom. And these were, um, I did take an offer of 35 on these. I got them at a garage sale. I can't remember what I paid. I feel like I paid up a little bit for them, maybe $5 for all of them. I also think I could have held out for a higher price, but they had been listed a little while and I had that offer of 35. So I went ahead and took it. Snoopy, holiday Snoopy by applause. This one right here, I got at a garage sale for $1 and you can see he's holding Woodstock. I sold this for $15.50 plus shipping. The next item, I got this out of the Goodwill bins. Can you believe it? It made it in the Goodwill bins. It's a glass. Most items at, okay, let's say that again. At my Goodwill bins, there is not a lot of glass. I was very, very surprised to find this in the bin but I definitely picked it up. It's a miniature oil lamp and I ended up taking a best offer of $17 plus shipping. So I'm pretty sure I had this on sale. I had it for 40, had it on sale. It's not showing you my sale price. It's just showing you I took a best offer. So that's kind of a new thing for eBay as well, along with this sold banner. So um, I wish I could see what my uh, sale price was so you could see what I accepted an offer of off of because it wasn't $40. I accepted an offer of 17. It was whatever my sale price was. I accepted an offer of 17, if that makes sense. The next item is this Peppa the Pig, uh, Ferris wheel and 
pig. I got this at the Goodwill bins. I sold it for $13 plus shipping. This is a another thing that came from the Goodwill bins. I just thought it was really cute. I figured somebody could put this in their fairy garden. And I use that in my title, Dollhouse Fairy Garden Accessory. And it actually, I, it sold fairly quickly, not super fast, but it was a good bolo. Probably had a dollar or less in it from the Goodwill bins. And I sold it for $14 best offer plus shipping. See, this is what it should look like. Um, but it, it's weird because I took a best offer on this, but this one is not slashed through and it's showing you my sale price. See how they were different? I don't know what's going on. Maybe eBay is making some changes. Vintage wraparound ostrich feather ring. I got this out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel and it took a long, long, long time to sell, but it finally sold. And I sold it for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. You can check out Donatella Bottolino on YouTube. And she is now on Whatnot as Donatella. And she sells to resellers. And I have gotten so many amazing dibble boxes from her. It's a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. And it's a big reseller box. And this is it. This was in one of those items. Vintage Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse. This has uh, the rotating TV and then it also has the little disc and or the VCR tapes. These are harder to find. I actually thought this was going to sell quicker and for more. I do feel like the Fisher Price Loving Family items are a little bit down right now. They used to sell for more. I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a vintage Kramer, Kramer or Cromer? I'm not sure how to say it. New York flower reef brooch. I actually got this at the Goodwill bins. Couldn't believe it, but I found a brooch at the Goodwill bins. Sold it for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The great denim bag kit from 1975. This item was very, very long tail. It took a long time to sell. I got it at the Goodwill for $2 and I sold it for a best offer of 20 plus shipping. This is a VeggieTales Noah's Ark replacement. This is Petunia Rhubarb Miss Noah Big Idea from 2011. I do part these out typically. I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping, and this also came from the Goodwill bins. This Star Trek or Star Wars thing, I am honestly surprised that this sold <laughs> because I got it home and I'm kind of like, what is this? Is this a McDonald's toy? But it's not, I don't think. It's from 1996. It's a magic box cube. Let me show you here. It looks like this. It's it's weird. It's just a weird little toy. So it has Darth Vader on one side and Yoda on the other. I don't know. I got it at the bin. So I had like less than 50 cents in it. Sold it for $7.80 plus shipping. So I was happy that sold as quick as it did. Vintage SeaWorld Shamu Killer Whale Plush Stuffed Animal Mom and Baby. I had two of these, so I went ahead and put them together. Why did I do that? Because there were quite a few listed, and I thought having two together, like a mom and a baby, would make my listing stand out. I don't think these really go together. I just put them together. Got these at an estate sale, sold them for $15, and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Paragon Needlecraft Tree Peace Christmas collection kit. And I had this up for auction. It sold. The buyer didn't pay. They said they were going to pay on Wednesday. They never paid. So I relisted it. And one of my Bolo buddies, um, uh, oh, she's not a member, but somebody I know from like whatnot. And she buys from me on whatnot. And she's a friend of the channel. She reached out to me with an offer of $32 and the buyer paid shipping. And that is Basket Case Mama's Fab Finds. You can find her on Whatnot. Definitely check her out. I think that's her eBay store name as well, but it's definitely her Whatnot name. So go give her a follow. But she wanted to do this. She wanted this for personal use. And I was definitely happy to sell it to her at that price. So um, can't wait to see the finished product. Oh my goodness. She's like, when I can find time to do it, right? I mean, that's a big deal right there. That's a big craft. That's going to take a while. Lot of two slide hairpin stick barrette accessory brown multicolor. So these are hair accessories. 
And I got these at the Goodwill bin, sold them for $15.50, and the buyer paid shipping. This little elephant is an Enchantimals elephant. I figured that out with Google Lens. Got this at the Goodwill bins. Took a best offer of $8 plus shipping. You guys, when I tell you Google Lens is amazing, it's going to, you take a picture of it. It's going to pull it up. It's sometimes going to tell you where it's listed. And then you can go in and research. All right. Needles and Hoop Autumn Harvest Sampler. I got this from an estate sale. I have sold four of them. It looks like I have one left. Sold this last one for $17.36 and the buyer paid shipping. I do have one current uh, sale going on right now. Um, if you don't know how to create a coupon, there's three different types of coupons that I use. One that I send out to followers and people who have bought from me in the past. One that I give to my viewers, which you will find down in the description of the video. And then also one that's available to anybody that comes in and looks at any of my listings. And that is buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon at checkout. So if you want to learn how to create a coupon, I do have a video on that. Type into the YouTube search bar, BOLO Buddies coupon. I walk you through how to send coupons to your followers how to send coupons to past buyers, and how to create a coupon like this. I think that this really, really helps your business, and I highly recommend it. It's a free tool offered by eBay. Definitely use it. It is a little confusing the first time, so I do have that tutorial video for you. All right, I'll try to remember to link it down below, but if not, just put in Bolo Buddies coupon. The next item is this little monkey, and it is a small plastic figure. We play Family Zoo Hong Kong. I got this in a thrift store mystery box, and I sold it for $8.68 plus shipping. This came out of a Dibble box. It was a toy box from Donatella Bottolino, and I sold her for $7, best offer, and the buyer paid shipping. It's Barbie's sister skipper babysitter doll with purple hair. This is a Tiger Tail Toys plush big green turtle children's soft stuffed animal. I got it at the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $11.16 and the buyer paid shipping. Martha Stewart Craft Punch Retired. Look all of these up. Some of them can go for big money. This one was a bread and butter. Sold it for $15.50 plus shipping. This is a 1999 Mattel Barbie Wizard of Oz. And it had some stains on it. It was on one of the Barbies, I do believe, and I took it off and decided to sell it separately. I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. This came out of the Dibble box that I got from Donna. It was a toy box. It wasn't really a Dibble box. It was more of a toy box with a bunch of damaged dolls. Oh my goodness. What a mess. I have a video on it and... Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle bought that box from me. You guys got to check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but it is hilarious. Wait until you see it, but wait until you see how much money I have made on this box. And Noelle bought that for me as a gift. And I listed everything to teach you guys that damaged items do sell. So check that out. Disney Applause Donald Duck Hand Puppet. Got it at a thrift store for a dollar. Sold it for $6.50 plus shipping. This is Disney Store Inside Out Sadness Blue Plush Stuffed Animal Toy. Um, I do recommend putting plush and stuffed animal into your title if you have room. I paid $0.50 cents at a garage sale for this. Took a best offer of $13 plus shipping. Fisher Price My First Dollhouse Crib. Got this at, I don't know, probably a garage sale or a thrift store in bulk. So probably a quarter or so in it. Sold it for $7.80, $7.80 plus shipping. The next item came out of a collaboration video I did with the Rebel Reseller. So the Rebel Reseller and I both bought a plush lot from Donatella Bottolino. So she will sell plush to resellers in bulk. We paid $50 free shipping and she did a box and I did a box. And we asked you guys who had the better box. So you guys can check out those videos. It was a lot of fun. Um, I think we both had really great boxes, but this is one of the items that was in my box. And I sold this line for $19.50 plus shipping. This is a tie 
It's from 1996. It's vintage, but it's a 15 inch. And I have done pretty well with the Thai brand um, bigger plush. Now the little beanie babies, I don't mess with, but these bigger ones I will pick up. This one right here, the Wiggles, uh, this sword would only play on try me mode. So it was damaged. So I listed it low and it sold, I want to say within 24 hours, maybe it was 48. It sold so fast, sold it for $6 and 50 cents plus shipping probably could have gotten a little more, but I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to get it working, but still a cool, fun toy. Nonetheless, got it at the Goodwill bins, kind of heavy. So probably didn't make a whole lot on that one. This is a Ninja Turtle sewer layer replacement ladder. I parted out. I have done this twice. The Ninja Turtle lure. Uh, I'm sorry. Ninja Turtle secret sewer layer. I have parted it out two times. You can definitely make a lot of money parting out this set. It does take time. And there are part numbers on there, which is really, really helpful. This one item sold for $7 plus shipping. LOL dolls. I put these four together and I sold them for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. And I got those at the Goodwill bins. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Leave me an emoji down below. Let me know which item you didn't know about. And as always, thanks for watching.